Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I'm sitting in the 7600 with the Rhino 4155 Batwing mower on the back. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be heading up to Travis Nye's fields that are north of the farms and I'm going to go up there start knocking down some stalks. The reason being is because last fall I couldn't get up there to knock them down before the snow fell. Um, the reason there was because we didn't get this mower until after that, after then, so uh, we didn't want to do it with our small one, so we figured we'd wait until the spring to do it. So now I'm finally getting out there to cut them down. And the reason we want to knock them down is because that field is in completely no-till. Um, we can't even knock the stalks down, so I want to go up there and knock the stalks from two years ago before we were even running the field down. Um, the reason being is because I don't think corn yields quite as good, even if it's no-till, if the stalks are still standing. Um, just from what I've seen. So I'm going to head up there right now and start knocking down some stalks. I'm just pulling up the field now. I'm going to do my 60 acre field first, and then Travis has another 41, 40 acre one uh, a little bit that way. So. Uh, Probably just start out on the outside and work my way in. So with this Rhino. Uh, 4155 we are doing a 15 foot swath which is at least twice as much as our last one our woods cadet is either five or seven I think it might be seven so with that thing even just to do a strip or two at Rockville which the strips there aren't that large it would take us days um, but with this thing I know I can move a lot faster than we could with that Woods Cadet. Then I know it's chopping everything up. I mean, I'm going eight miles an hour right now, and I could probably go 10. Let's actually, let's actually give that a shot. It's kind of rough because I'm on the outside of the field. That's why I've been going slower. Once I get in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's 10 miles an hour. Like I said, it's a little rough. So I just got done doing my first lap, and I have to admit this thing cuts pretty nice. Seeing as I'm driving back over here, that's pretty shredding the corn stalks pretty well. What I really liked about it when I was over there by the uh, woods, there were locust trees right along the edge of the field, and you can't drive over them or else they'll pop, they'll pop a tire. Well, the mower sticks out far enough that I could put them right alongside the tires of the tractor, the mower would knock them out. So I was reclaiming the field, I mean, just a couple feet, but you could go back and start reclaiming pad, uh, reclaiming field ground that has been taken up by locust trees. So the 76 runs is pretty nice. I would have to recommend this thing on like anything about like a 4020 and up. Um, it is pretty heavy, but I feel like it would be a pretty good match for a 4020. So any of you guys that have any of them older tractors, I think this thing would work for you pretty good. So I know I like it.
field now. I'm heading to the next one. It's about 340. And I got 60 acres done, so I got about 40 more to do. Let's see if I can get most of this done before it gets too late tonight. Might run past dark, I don't know, it depends how long it takes to do. What killed me here is constantly turning around with all these little fingers. I hope I don't have quite as much of that at the next place. About to get started. I'm really hoping that I can get done with this. Uh, I'm at about a quarter of a tank of fuel right now. Uh, hopefully I can get it all done. Um, nothing else. Have Travis run me up some fuel or something, I don't know. Did you miss me? Huh? Did you miss me, Rocket? 